Okay, so I'd like to also just introduce two axes when we're dealing with the circular motion. We have two axes, the radial axis and the tangential axis. The radial axis is this axis over here from the axis of rotation through the particle. Okay? And then the tangential axis is the axis that is tangent to the, the path, the motion. So it's tangent. And it's the positive direction of the tangent axis, tangential axis, axis is always the direction in which the particle is moving. Okay? So tangential axis, axis points in direction of increasing theta. Radial axis points away from the axis of rotation, so that's increasing um, radius. And then there's also a third axis which is perpendicular to this one. Remember, these are all perpendicular, right? So R and T are perpendicular, T and Z are perpendicular, R and Z are perpendicular. Z axis is perpendicular to the plane of motion. Now let's see. Now, this is important. The R and T ax axes change direction as they rotate with the object. Okay, so it's not a fixed set of axes. But as you can see, T changes. At every single point, T changes and R changes. All right. Okay, see you in the next one.